Hi hey everybody, my name is Laura McMahon and I'm the Community Learning Officer for the Royal Parks in London. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own beautiful compost at home. You can do this even if you have a very small garden or a balcony and what we're going to be making it out of is this. So beautiful food scraps. So I'm going to show you how you can turn food scraps into beautiful rich compost that you can use for your plants in your garden all by using these lovely worms so what you're going to need to make your wormery is you're going to need a box so um, any plastic box with a lid is great i recommend getting one that's dark not clear but it can be any kind of plastic box you have but it must have a lid and what i've done is i've drilled some holes around it and this is for air for the worms. You're going to need, um, obviously the most important thing is our worms. So these are tiger worms. The worms that you find in your garden will not do the job. You need to get these worms which are called tiger worms. You can buy these online and these worms are fantastic at breaking down uh, food waste very quickly so the earthworms that you have won't be as effective. So order these online. You're going to need some um, soil um, and some bedding. So this is where the uh, worms are going to live. So I've got here some shredded uh, cardboard and some shredded paper and I'm going to add in some uh, old compost. So this is compost from some pots of plants I had in the spring and summer this year. Um, so this hasn't got much nutrients left in it, but it's perfect for the bedding for the plants. You can also use things like coconut core and some sand as well. This is just where the worms are going to live. And then finally, you're going to need some food scraps. So I've got here some uh, old bits of cauliflower leaves, some tea bags, I've got some banana skins, some eggshells. All of this is perfect. This is what the worms will eat and turn into compost. There's a few things that worms don't like to eat. Uh, one of them is onions, so any leeks, onions, garlic, things like that. Avoid putting this into your compost bin. Uh, and secondly, they don't like citrus, so Things like lemons, limes, oranges, don't put them in your compost. You want to just keep it as fruit and vegetable scraps. Don't put in any dairy or meat. So fruit and vegetable scraps, tea bags, coffee grounds are perfect for your wormery. And once you have all that, then you can get started. Okay, so step one to make your wormery, we're going to need to make the bedding for the worms to live in. So what you're going to do is get your shredded paper. Now, this is all stuff that I had at home that was going into my recycling bin. I've got cardboard, I've got egg containers, uh, cardboard egg containers, the toilet roll inserts that you have, and um, they're all perfect. So just make sure you shred them up really well. And this is going to be perfect bedding for the worms to live in. So not only are you getting to recycle your food scraps, but you're also getting to recycle your paper. And this will eventually break down by the worms and turn into beautiful compost for your plants. And then I'm gonna to add to this some old compost. So again, you can use sand, uh, coconut core, something that's gonna be able to, be where the uh, worms will like to live. So I've got my old pots from last year that have compost that are, hasn't got much nutrients left in it. This is already being used up, so break this up. And as you can see, I like to use old containers for my plant pots. It's another great way to recycle and reuse. Okay, this is looking good. So it's a bit dry because of the old shredded paper we put in, this is a bit dry. So what we're going to do is sprinkle in some water. So again, <laughs> very recycle friendly today. I've actually made a watering can out of an old egg uh, milk container that has some holes punctured in. So this helps to disperse the water without one area getting too wet. You don't want 
your worm root to be too wet or too dry. Worms like to live in damp conditions. So this is the balance that you need to make. Make sure that this all gets incorporated. So now I'm uh, ready to add in my worms. So again, here is our beautiful wriggly tiger worms. And what I'm gonna do is add my worms in. So I'm gonna make like a little trough. So make a bit of space, because your worms like to be buried. So I'm making a bit of space here. And then I'm gonna add in my lovely worms. Pretty easy. And then the worms want some food. So as I said, I have a mixture of um, vegetable peelings, fruit peelings, some tea bags. Um, I've avoided putting in any, any onions or any citrus because the worms don't like it. So just add it in. And what I'd say is add the food waste into the area where your worms are so they don't have to travel too far. Worms are going to take a bit of time to settle into their new home, so you don't want to feed them too much to begin with. So this is definitely enough food for them. Um, and what you're going to do is cover this now with some more soil, with some more shredded paper, and let them and let them at it. In about two to three months, you will have some worm casts or compost that you can use for your garden. So if you have uh, your box and if you have been feeding it in the way I said earlier so moving it along each time you put in some more food so you start off here put more food here next time you put food here and then work your way back the worms will move towards where the food is and that's where I suggest if you can get out yourself a really long wide box because that makes it easier for the worms to travel so if you have all your worms over here the last food you gave them was over here all the worms will be on this side so you shouldn't really have much worms on this side of your box. So you can dig out with, with a trowel, with your hands, dig out some of your compost. You may have some worms still left. So what I tend to do is I get a maybe a bin liner or some tarp, put it on the ground, take out the worm, worm casts, take out the compost, put it onto the sheet, and I build it up like a pyramid. And what that does, by making a pyramid, there's more sunlight getting into the top than there is at the bottom. So worms don't like sunlight. So what they'll do is they'll dive down to the bottom of the pile. So you can scoop up the top of your pyramid and you know that you don't have any of your worms. Because what we want to do is keep our worms in our wormery. We don't really need them in our pots or in our garden. So once you've done that, scoop it up again into a pyramid and keep taking off the top layer. And that's what you're going to keep. And at the end, you should have any worms that are left will be right at the bottom. You can just scoop them up and put them back into your wormery. And then you'll fill up your area that you've taken out with some more of the bedding that we did earlier. So shredded up cardboard, shredded up paper and some uh, compost or sand. And you can start the process again. So it means that you can continually keep harvesting while the worms are still eating. So I hope you found that useful and um, if you have any questions put them in the comment section we'll try and answer them as much as possible. If you like videos like this please subscribe to the Royal Parks social media channels we are the Royal Parks and we'll have more content available for you. Thanks so much, goodbye!